If you're anything like me, before you go out, you check you've got your keys, your wallet, and your phone. Pretty much all of us have a smartphone these days. And even if you haven't got a Galaxy S8, you've got a phone that has a camera. And phones like the S8, the iPhone 7, the Google Pixel have fantastic cameras. But the problem is putting a camera in a phone this thin does come with some limitations. You can't get optical zoom or decent macro lenses and only a few phones like the LG G6 offer wide angle lenses. So to really unlock the potential of your smartphone's camera, you might wanna try one of these, a range of clip-on lenses by Pixter that work with iPhone and Android and just take a couple of seconds to clip onto your phone. So Pixter very kindly sent me their Pro Pack, which includes four different lenses. We've got a macro lens, a super fisheye, that guy looks really happy there, um, a wide angle or grand angle as they all say in France, and a uh, telephoto lens. So this Pro Pack with four lenses costs £150, but if you don't want to spend that much you can buy these individually for £50. And also they very kindly sent me a flexible tripod to go with it. This is separate and you also get a choice of a rigid one if you want to uh, attach it to your phone. It's, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, if I move those to one side, you can set it up like that, put your phone in, and then the idea is you'll then snap on one of the lenses. So let me show you just how simple it is to connect one of these to your smartphone. So let's pick, uh, let's go with the wide angle lens just for this test. So it's really straightforward. In the box, you just get the lens itself and the thing that you clip onto the phone. I'm sure that has a name, but I'm gonna call it the thing that clips onto your phone for the time being. And that is it. So if we take off the lens cap, this is the wide angle lens. You can see they're very, very high quality glass. That screws in here, like so. Very, very simple. What you wanna do is clip that over the lens like so. And that should be it. So now let's turn on the phone, open the camera, and you can see there the difference between normal and wide angle. So you may need to adjust this slightly because you might get a bit of the corner of the lens in the camera's view. So you're gonna to need to just adjust it just a tiny bit. But within just, what, a couple of seconds, you can get a fantastic wide angle view from your smartphone camera. There's just something really charming about the simplicity of this. The fact that it's just literally a little clothes peg type clipper which goes on your smartphone. And as I say, will work with any smartphone, not just the Samsung Galaxy S8, which I've got here. And the lens, which you just simply screw in and there's a little lens cap which comes with it. That is it. And you can then reuse this with the different lenses. You can then just screw in the different ones if you buy more than one. And in case you forget which one you're using, it also says on the lens itself. So let's take these out of the studio and see what we can do with them. So with Galaxy S8 tripod and lenses in hand, I took a little trip to Glastonbury. I'm snapping on the first lens here. And as you can see, I'm also using the tripod, the flexible one, there's also a rigid one. And I think it really helps you get some more stable images and shots. The clip itself will always cover a bit of the screen, but it doesn't actually interfere or touch the screen. But of course the whole point is it's just really quick to clip on and clip off. So you don't need to worry about keeping it on all the time. So let's start with what I think may be my favorite Pixel lens, the Macro Pro. So this is the S8 footage without the lens. I clip it on like so. It all goes very blurry, although there is a focus ring. But watch what happens when I move the camera right into the grass. It's almost like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You get 4.5 times optical zoom with the Macro Pro lens from Pixar. It is really incredible. It's almost like Planet Earth 2 or something. But it doesn't have to be video. You can also take still shots. This is the S8 without the lens. And then the S8 again with the Pro lens. So moving into the Glastonbury Town Centre, which is a bit of a weird and wonderful place, let's move on to the Pixter Wide Pro Lens. So we've got the normal S8 footage here without the lens, and then snap it on, and you get a much wider 100 degree field of view. It's easy to see the difference when put side by side, you get so much more in the frame. Another example using the Wide Pro, I'm on the high street here, and take a look at that Mystic Magic Shop on the far left. Once I snap on the Pro, you can see a good deal more of the shop to the left of it. It adds so much more to the frame. Moving on to the Super Fisheye Pro. Once again, we're back into this little street. This is the normal footage. Snap it on and you get a much wider 235 degree field of view. Once again, side by side, it's clear the difference. And you're also getting 0.63 times optical zoom. So actually, it's zooming back a bit, so you're getting more in the scene. And last, but by no means least, we've got the Pixar Telephoto lens. Once you clip this onto your phone, it's a bit like you've got a sniper rifle scope or something. You get two times optical zoom on your smartphone camera, which is amazing. And you can really see the difference that makes. 
So out of all the lenses, the Pixta Macro, the Super Wide Pro, the Super Fisheye Pro and the Telephoto, I think the Macro and Fisheye are probably my favorite two, but they're all good for something different. And the fact that you can just screw in each lens into the same Pixta clip means you actually need to carry one clip with you and the lenses themselves are so small, you can just put them in your back pocket or in your backpack if you need them. And since they all come with lens covers and caps, you don't have to worry about them getting damaged. So I'd like to thank Pixta for sending me the lenses and also sponsoring this video. I'm really glad I get to hang on to these lenses because they're actually pretty cool and I reckon I might use them quite a bit more in the future. The fact that you can just in a couple of seconds clip on a uh, wide angle or fisheye or telephoto lens like this to any phone, front or back camera is just pretty cool I reckon and it really does unlock the potential of your smartphone which chances are has a pretty good camera, most of them do these days. So the fact that you can now get optical zoom and macro lenses for your phone really does make quite a big difference and they are just absolutely tiny little things that you can just put in your pocket and take with you anywhere you want. So I'm pretty impressed with them. If you want to find out more or you are interested in buying any of the lenses, you can find links in the description below. Let me know what you make of them and also which is your favorite in the comments. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button right there and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.